a selection of poetry from Garden Reflection and Other Poems by Jack Barnett Haskins. Beneath the breath of spring, the guest intrudes to do her thing. Inside her garb, a streak of meanness surfaces to fling, rehearsing summer lines with winter in the wings. Spring hosts a melting snowball bloom, but spirea petals learn they soon may need to dance a leftover norther tune orchestrated by the wind before adjourned. But July joy, spring moods will not curtail or kill blackberry briars that fill the pail. Just a hilltop country church, somewhat rustic in its touch, built for sinner and for such, erected to concede every person has a need, but not much emphasis on creed. Modest steeple and a bell, every Sabbath it would tell of alternative to hell. Straight back pews and austere rows, heated by pot bellied stoves, too far away you almost froze. Preacher knew no brevity, sermon short on levity, never minus charity. In the cemetery, saints interred here and there with ain'ts gravely uttered no complaints. I attended as a youth, learned how not to be uncouth, and hailed tested gospel truth. Since I've not already said it, therefore you will not have read it. I'll speak up and give due credit. That plain church upon a wooded knoll was tied to a rather narrow goal, preoccupied with God and soul. But when my journey's finished day recaps its morning hours, I'll say... A rural white frame church lit up the way. More striking than its yuletide counterpart, poinsettia of the summer, pink and yellow mingling high o'er root, marching fife and drummer. Parade rest by the wall, reaching up a space, blooming onward into fall, setting floral pace. Pulpit high in garden, preaching striking gospel beauty, on the end of stem, awe-inspiring Eiffel. The year that stretches out with days like niches in an old cathedral yawning to be filled, with days like vacant squares staring into space, taking turn to be crossed off and blend into a yesterday. That year can be like mistletoe, a parasite upon the past, or an inspiration point provoking folks to love. The kissing spread by yuletide sprig more than pays the rent incurred by greenly clinging to the bark of its rooting. Will it help if we weep? A vial of salty tears. Will piped-in music release some cheer? Will hope go deep and reroute fears? We already know that bugging God won't bring him here. We want the stroking of his cheer. When he's hugging but not his nagging children, do we ask him to appear? Earnest prayer is heard by God above, as with his son he'll send a dove. If the need's incurred to show his love, the Lord is near. Hear now an inner voice. Go forth, not an employee of your fear, but a channel of his joys. Traditions, phrases are all worn, shorn by overuse, but affection still stirs strong, seeking outlets to be born. The heart yet yearns, pulsing, beating as it warms, burning but not burning, and nearly overturns at the risk of being trite for the sake of being right. Let text be old and heart renewed. Here once again, dear, I love you.